Hey everyone, it's Owen here from OTEC and today I'll be unboxing the Corsair HX1000i Platinum Rated Power Supply. So this is a really high-end power supply from Corsair. It's a 1000 watt unit and it has Corsair Link. So you can plug a USB header on this thing and then you can monitor temps, efficiency, power usage, power input and also the fan speed and you can control the fan speed too. Which is pretty cool if you want to have a silent system or you want to have uh, the power supply last longer by running the fan faster for example and you also get uh, digital um, single rail via multi rail selection from the software so you can change between single rail and dual multi rail, multi -rail power supply uh, modes uh, from the Corsair Link software and this has a platinum rated uh, efficiency so it is way over 92% uh, and it is supposed to be a really good power supply from Corsair. Uh, this is one of their higher end units and definitely one of the more uh, efficient units out there in the wild. Although Corsair also have the AX1500i with the titanium efficiency but no one really needs 1500 watts so these HX units are already really really good. Especially the new revamped units with the new uh, shell design and the new internals made by CWT and also the new uh, grey Corsair uh, power supply optimized fans which are fluid dynamic bearing fans on some models although the cheaper ones like the RMX series use uh, a sleeve bearing so they won't last as long but these are really good ones so let's take a look at the box itself first so here it is and uh, you can see the cables uh, specifications over here and then you can also see the front has pictures of the power supply itself and the bottom also has more features while the side doesn't really have anything so yeah so, it's quite heavy so don't drop this here's the back of the power supply you can see more specifications the efficiency curve which you can see peaks out at around 50 percent usage just like all power supplies and kind of drops off in the lower load usage and then the fan curve which you can see starts at 400 uh, watts and before that it's gonna, it's gonna be completely passive so yeah here's the specifications as well so if you want to read any of these just pause the video but yeah so let's take a look inside Here we find another brown box inside and when you open it you get greeted by some user manual uh, booklets and a warranty guide and safety information and the uh, warranty uh, papers documentation so uh, you can see that the cables and the accessories are on this side you can see the power cables for the socket and then you can also see the accessories like the case badge powered by Corsair, the screws and also the, the cable ties and you know with these uh, cables you can see that Corsair bundled the thicker 1.5 millimeter cables so that's nice to see considering the high wattage of this power supply so um, let us open the uh, cabling and also take a look at the power supply which is also uh, nicely packed in this uh, sleeve pouch uh, it's a fabric pouch or Corsair plus a power supply and hmm yeah let me tell you I can really smell the new power supply smell on this thing uh, those new electronic smell it's definitely one of the more satisfying things out of unboxing things so consider that a plus and oops I ripped that off but it's just an operation so you know it's just a sticker that shows that the fan is fine if it doesn't uh, turn on it's made to be silent so it does have a passive mode so yeah here uh, let's see the power supply itself first so it's just a typical uh, new Corsair design with the kind of like a grill I guess it looks kind of like a grill so it looks as if you could grill up like a steak on top of it so yeah it's a wire mesh grill uh, for the fan so there's gonna be a lot of airflow compared to the stand out steel and they have the gray Corsair apparently power supply optimized fan 
and I'm just guessing it's a pressure optimized fan since you know power supplies have a lot of crap inside and those things uh, restrict airflow and speaking of airflow the back side is almost completely open so it's just kind of hindered by this large switch which is also nice to see uh, considering this is a high wattage power supply so it's not just some dinky small power switch but a full fat bigger one although the power connector is just the standard ones and you can see the HX1000i badge over there and over on the side so you can use it this way and it's still on the right side right side up and also this way on the right side up and here's the specifications itself um, you can pause the video if you want to take a look but basically you can see that the whole 1000 watt can be supplied from the 12 volt rail so this is a really good power supply it's made by CWT and here's the modular connector board over here so whoops uh, there's the peripheral connectors so there's six of them and then there's uh, also six PCIe or CPU connectors and then you get the 24 pin ATX connectors uh, on here and over here you can also see the fan test button so the fan test button is basically just gonna spin the fan once you press it so you just just to test the fan if it's running or not and the LED is the indicator if it's connected to Corsair link or not and here it is is the USB connectors for the Corsair link and here's also the connector for the Corsair link commander but yeah that's it for the power supply itself so let's take a look at the cabling So here's the cabling itself, it's in a another bag, so you can store your cables, unused cables over here and it will be all neat. So here you can see it's all flat ribbon cables on, this, on the power supply, which is actually really nice, which will make your build uh, a lot cleaner compared to the normal just large braided cables since you know it's flatter and you can kind of uh, have a sleeve cables look sort of. So yeah, it's gonna be cleaner and you could easily route it since it's a thinner cable. So it, it does uh, kind of help you with cable management, these uh, ribbon style cables. So you got a six plus two pin, two of them in one chain. So you get one chain of those. You get a CPU, uh, no, PCIe six plus two pin again. So you get two. And I believe you also get a third, which is uh, right here. So you got in total uh, six, uh, GPU power connectors so you can run it oh no actually you got four so yeah you got four uh, PCIe chains one two three four so in theory you get eight PCIe uh, eight pin connectors although I doubt the power supply itself can supply that much power but I guess if your graphics card is kind of overkill you can really just use that and then you also get the CPU power connector and also another one so you get two in case your motherboard needs to also a chain of SATA cables so this is just four SATA connectors in one chain and then another chain which uh, which is the same thing and then also the Molex chain which has four Molex in one chain and also another Molex chain same thing and you get the 24 pin ATX connector and you also get another uh, SATA chain and also another Molex chain and you get this FDD adapter now I like this since the FDD adapter is not an FDD connector isn't really used anymore so it's better to just have an adapter instead of uh, connecting it to the main cables and now you get the Corsair Link USB connection cable so you just plug this in into the internal motherboard USB header and plug the other end to the power supply and it should work and you get another FDD adapter and also the Corsair, Corsair Link Commander connector so if you buy the Corsair Link Commander box you can connect it to that instead of the motherboard and that should work too so yeah I mean that's about it for the power supply there's not much else you can say except you know I've tried this power supply it's really quiet and it doesn't even really get that hot and yeah, it's a pretty good power supply from Corsair. I don't have any problem recommending it, as long as it's in your budget, because this is really one of the more expensive power supplies. So, yeah, maybe look for sales or something, or if it, if it is, you know, what you're looking for, I don't see why not, you know, you should just buy it. It's a really good power supply. So, yeah. 
I mean, that's about it for this unboxing. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, please leave a like. And please click subscribe to see more of my future videos. Thanks for watching.